still got tons of snow out there. Supposed to be above 32 today for the first time in a couple of weeks. And then by Tuesday, 60. <laughs> so all this is gonna go bye-bye real soon. Hallelujah. I wanna show you something on my solar here. And you know, I'm making great power right now. I can show you real quick. Man array, about 1300 there. 829 there, 930 there, so what, uh, I don't know, a lot, <laughs> over 3,000, it's only like 1045, but what I want this thing to do is I'm inverting right now, house is totally on solar and battery, uh, with the charger here, what I want the system to do is when it goes down to 26 volts, I want it to start charging the battery and still hold loads and I thought I had it figured out but I didn't but there's a, a setting in the optics RE software that either I forgot about or I didn't set right or I didn't know and you can set it up with your devices here I'm gonna to try to do this with one hand here so I've got this is the VFX 3524 I've got all the settings to where I want it for charging 28.2 and then 26 for refloat right and all was good grid power all that bam but the problem I had was over here if you go to devices you got to go into mate 3 here to configure your mode I don't know if you can see that or not, but right down here, this had no default on here at all. Charger mode was blank, and it's got to be in auto mode. So both the inverter and the May 3 have got to talk to each other, and they weren't talking to each other. It was kind of manually, you had to go and put it in drop AC and charge. Then it automatically go back, go back to inverting when it hits full charge. But I wanted to do it automatically, and this is where I screwed up. The charger mode on the Mate 3 has to be in auto mode. <laughs> so now, essentially, this thing is going to be autonomous. If, if I've got sun to charge, it'll charge and invert all day. You know the batteries? If I don't have sun, keep everything connected. And then when the battery voltage goes down to 26 volts, the charger right here will kick on. And it'll go up to 28, give a full charge, and then invert. And all automatic. And it's all because I screwed up or didn't read the directions or pay attention to what others were doing. But now I figured it out. It's kind of late because there's no more storms coming, but I'm going to keep this battery at about 26 volts it's probably about 30 percent state of charge so I'll be able to bring it down to about 30 percent state of charge and then I'll go into I can always I can always bump it up like 26.5 when it refloats or go to 27 uh, which is maybe like 40 percent state of charge I don't know with lithium but I think I'm gonna keep it this way keep it high up and if I have sun, good to go. I'm not buying any grid power. If you don't have sun, it'll you know, bring it down to 35% or so, and then charge back up. So that's where it's at. Hope everyone's doing good. We'll see you next time.